in today's video I'm going to show you how to couple a SD card shield to Arduino Uno and we're going to for this project measure temperature and lock those values on the SD card now this is especially useful in aqua or hydroponics where you need to know the water temperature and anybody who've ever uh, struggled with root rot will know how important water temperature is especially in hydroponic systems so let me show you the different components and how to do this very simple project so here you can see all the components that we're going to work with first is the arduino board itself then there's a little shield that you're going to fit your sd card in and then we've got our temperature sensor this is a 10k thermistor uh, very easy to use and then you've got a 10k resistor as well that's all the components that you'll need um, in order to do this little project so the first thing is to fit the SD card uh, shield on the Arduino and you will see it just presses in like this so you'll just align it and you'll press it in and there's our first part done the next thing is your SD card um, you can use a small SD card uh, 8 gig will be fine and you just put it in here and you slot it into your uh, SD card holder there all right the next thing is then your temperature sensor now the temperature sensor got two wires but it doesn't matter uh, which wire on is on which side it's just a resistive component so what I do is the first the one of the wires I just wind around the resistor's leg here now remember we're trying to do this as simple as possible so that everybody can fall in with this project so now um, the other leg of the resistor the one that we didn't put the thermistor um, leg on we put that to ground and you'll see it's neatly marked here I'll show you um, you put it into ground there the resistor and then the other leg of the resistor goes to uh, A1 specify, we're going to specify that in our program and then we've got uh, one leg of the thermistor left and we put that to positive 5 volt so you just check for positive 5 volt and you put it in there so there our complete bolt uh, is finished this is all the hardware that you need so just to make sure you've got your connections right this is the pin from the thermistor on the 5 volt and then we've got the one leg of the 10k resistor on ground and lastly we've got the combined leg of the resistor and the thermistor on A1 um, please remember that you're going to reuse your Arduino and your shield for every project that we do from now on so this is the basic the start with one uh, temperature sensor uh, to lock your temperature but later on we're going to add a lot to this we can add relays to switch pumps we can add um, all kinds of stuff so here's our cable you can see it's a normal printer type of cable and on the other side you've got a usb port that goes into your computer so this part will just plug into your arduino and you'll always use the same cable to do your programming so the next thing that you do is you're going to um, just download the software that you need you only need to download it once and it's also absolutely free so you search for Arduino um, IDE Integrated Development Environment and you'll find this and then you can directly go to that software you can then download the newest IDE for Arduino you can choose your operating system uh, Windows or Mac um, whatever you're using there you can just install the correct one there I've already installed mine it's a quick installation so after you've installed your IDE your Arduino IDE it will look like this 
and the next thing that you do is you just copy the code that I'm going to give you in the first comment below the video. You then select what's in your sketch at the moment and you can just delete that and then you paste that software that I've already written for you in there and we're not going to detail today remember the aim of this whole project is just to get you started so you take it exactly as it is here I've already written the code for you and now we're going to program it the next thing that you will do is uh, to compile your Arduino sketch but there's two things that's important remember we've now already plugged in our Arduino after we've built it the hardware and now we want to make sure that the yeah, at tools that the correct board is selected it must be the Arduino Uno and then the second thing that you check there is that the correct port is selected and here you can see the Arduino Uno is on that port sometimes there will be more ports here but you just select the Arduino port there so those are the two important things then you can compile your sketch and it will ask you to save it under you can give it your own name there and it will save it and then it will start compiling the sketch and this will only take a few seconds when it's done compiling uh, you can and there's no errors then you can upload it with this little arrow here you can upload it to the Arduino board so it will be uploaded remember you do this only once once the program is on the Arduino it will always stay there until you put another program on it so it's uploading at the moment and it's done uploading so now the program is running on the board now just to test it you can open under tools your serial monitor and in the code I've written it so that it displays your degree Celsius and Fahrenheit here so here you can see we're at 18.2 degrees Celsius at the moment and now if I take the sensor and I touch it it should rise and you can see it's rising there at the moment at this stage we're reading the sensor every one second and this is something that you can change in your program obviously you will not use it in one second intervals you will use it in maybe uh, every 30 minutes or 10 minutes it doesn't matter what you decide so we can change this let's change this to three seconds for the demonstration and we upload it again so it will first compile and then upload so it's done uploading so we can open our serial monitor again and we will now see that it will uh, do the reading every three seconds like we've set there um, now so every three seconds it will write those values the temperature in degrees celsius and fahrenheit to the file that's on the sd card and then later on we can take that sd card and we can then um, retrieve the file and use it to see what our temperatures were in our system so i'm in google sheets at the moment you can also use excel for this but the next thing is you will take your sd card from your logger and you will put it into your computer in a slot if it doesn't have a slot you get a cheap usb converter for the sd card so we will just then say file import you will upload file and you select from your device i will then just choose the folder and you'll find the file there and you can open it it will upload it and it will then uh, just ask you if it's delimited it's comma delimited but it will detect it automatic as well and um, you can just say import data uh, so once your data is inside your uh, sheet you can just select in this case I'm going to this is in degrees Celsius and this column is in Fahrenheit so I'm just going to select the Fahrenheit column here then you can plot it I just want to select all the data points and this was for a 124 hour cycle in a system 
So now you can just say insert and a chart. It will then give you the log for the data that you've selected and you can just set your range so that it's better. Let's make the minimum 50 here. And here you can see this was the temperature lock for one day. So it ranged from almost 60 degrees to uh, well above 80, 85 degrees Fahrenheit. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and bye bye.